Bonnie bird, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. They said, Hold up, I've got to take care of some business. Friend, how does life find you? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the beast of the sea, stories of your beard alone fly across riveling like flocks of crows. Fair a bit more inland than you'd prefer, yeah? Ain't I know it, ain't I know it. Beast claps him on the back and chuckles heartily. If they hadn't met just a moment ago, you might think the dwarves lifelong friends. <laughs> I don't want to intrude, seeing as how you got your own trials and travails. But I don't suppose you've been to Reaper's Coast of late. Maybe heard of a fella named, uh, oh, what was it? Lohar. Lohar? Yeah, I know of the guy, from back when I was looking for fishing work out in Driftwood. He's, how shall I say, an entrepreneur. Still out there a bit, had his stubby fingers and a lot of pies, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Sounds like a man I'd buy two flagons of meat for. One for drinking and one for toasting. I, uh, got something for him. I'll tell him you sent your regards, Mr... Uh... It's Duggan it is. Oh, and this here's Leah. You gotta be sick of that collar. Leah, you can get it fixed up, yeah? Sure thing. Bet you're glad to be rid of it. Amazing to meet the beast in flesh. Let's see if we can get you back to sea. Fighting the good fight, yeah? Your lungs have gotta be starved for the salt air. Beast chortles and nods, then passes you a sly wink. Such a charm bucket. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Protect your humble servant. Gareth, please come back. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes I can't use and rest this now. your wee head. Please, Armadi, bless and protect your humble servant. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Please, Armada, bless and protect your humble servant. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. 
The seven watch o'er us. You're safe in bed. Bless of death. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Please come back. Barn, now don't you cry. Duggan stands over Leia, singing softly as she mutters about Gareth. There, there, lass. Don't you worry. Gareth will be back soon. You'll see. He'll be back. Duggan stands over Lair. Stay there, lass. Smoke and screams. Rubbish. Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. Screams. The seven will show us death. you're safe in bed. So Gary. close your sweet eyes He's and rest back. your wee head. Maybe we should fortify. 
fortify this place. Make a stand. No, no. We don't have the time. Think down the Swear Gareth would know what to do. Out of the frying pan and into... You know what? You've heard that one before, so let's try a new one. Shite's all... The birds are asleep. Out of the frying pan... Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? Out of the frying pan and into... You know what? You've heard that one before, so let's try a new one. Shite's all mucked up. I'd say we should stop to talk, but I'm swamped. <laughs> sure thing, Chief. What's up? She bats her eyelashes coquettishly over black eyes in grey sockets. Just for you, Chief. Okay. I don't. Look. Just... I know it was bad, okay? I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm sorry. I just... I just want to move on. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds Smoke are asleep, screams. the moon's in the sky. Echoes of death. The seven watch over us, no. you're safe in bed. Please come back. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Screams. Wished Bonnie Barn, Echoes now of don't death. You cry. <laughs> the birds are asleep. He's the moon's back. in the sky. The seven watch over us. You're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Find 
Amadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? My sympathies, friend. The divine order strike prince and pauper alike. I cannot restore your realm, but you can always make a home here. I am Gratiana, priestess of Amadia. It is a privilege to welcome you to her sanctuary from Bracchus's vile swamps. She pauses for a moment before answering. We must always strive to help those who suffer. For many years I did not understand that simple truth. For many more, I have tried to right the wrongs of my past. Despite the mask, you can feel her expression harden. Time is a river, ever slipping by. It does no good to mourn what's gone before, only to appreciate where the current carries us. In this place I can worship the goddess Armadia and help those who come to me for aid. I live a good life. The person that I was is dead. Armadia is the blessed mother of magic. All that use it can trace their skill back to her grace. This is her shrine. She has sustained me here for many years, even when the evils of Bracchus's swamp threatened to drown me. He is no more, thank the goddess. It has been many centuries since he walked Rivalon, although he still casts a shadow over this land. He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast, he stole its source, and left only death. On this island, he built and tested his weapons. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly, or died at all. The tales do him no justice. He was cruel, greedy and stripped this land of all life, he was truly a horror. Indeed, the Magisters have even taken Bracchus's worst tools. First, the Purging Ones, and now those Shriekers. Without something more powerful than these sticks the Seekers are armed with, those crucified monstrosities will kill them to a man. Twice today I've heard those words. Their leader, Gareth, insisted that he could lead them out of this place. I told him of Bracchus's cache of soul-forged weapons, arms not even the Shriekers could stand against. He ventured out to find them, but has not returned. I fear for these souls, if he has come to any harm in the marsh. Without the wands he seeks, not one will escape this island. Gladly, but I fear you'll fare no better than the Seeker. North of here you'll find the ruins of Bracchus's source armory. Nothing in this land can counter the Shrieker's power like those weapons. Without them, the Seekers are truly hopeless. Walk ever in Armadia's grace, child. Gareth, please come back. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. More junk. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, we're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head.
smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. This is rude. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Maybe we should fortify this place. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. No, no, we don't have the time. Gareth. Please come back. Gareth would know what to do. Wish Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry? The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven was over, they're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest. Please, Armadia, bless smoke and protect and your humble servant. Echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. Please, Armand. The birds are asleep. Bless and protect your sky. humble servant. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams, echoes of death. Gareth, please come back. Please, Armadia, bless and protect your humble servant. Amidst the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Rivulets stream from her deep-set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an intangible comfort. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance-like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. The voice grows stronger, like a breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children, my children, 
Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cradle I have wrought. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of thorns. My child, my child, weep with me for the mother who has lost. Weep with me and bathe in the tears of Amadia. You feel the goddess's presence surround you, feel her nestle you tenderly like a mother. The intensity of her embrace deepens. Never since the unremembered days of childhood have you been so enveloped in maternal safety. My child, my child, I love you. My own, my own, I will guard you. Wander where you will and cherish the kiss of Amadia. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated, pure, as if born anew. Armadia's grace, blessings upon this day. By Armadia's grace, what did you do? Echoes of death. This is incredible. In all my years, I've never seen the goddess bestow her blessing on someone. I am humbled to be in your presence. Truly, we are blessed to know you. If Armadia favors you, that is all I need to know. Go in peace, brother. Protect your humble servant. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted. He holds the damaged blade up to the light. This was Halorn's blade. It was his first, it was also his last. He didn't intend to die here, but die here he did. He was an ordinary soul with an extraordinary heart, Halorn, and he died for what he believed. What did Halorn believe in? He believed in truth. He believed in hope. He believed that Alexander is a killer of God Woken. I believe that on one point at least, he was right. The point breaks away, leaving a jagged edge. The sword is shorter now, but it'll do more damage. Who are you? He realizes, to his surprise, that he holds the weapon in his hand, ready for battle. He smiles to himself, tucks the weapon away, and gets back to work.
Most of this is scrap. If I had a forge, I could do something. Maybe. Turn your head if you can hear me. Maybe it's the wind that you and it needs to be changed. I will not be a burden. Leave me be. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the sky. Big fire boom, lightning crash. One moment sun, the next I feel darkness inside me, then noise. So much noise, clank, moan, clink, groan. I hid in a stump. I'm not a stupid squirrel. I have much stowed away for hard times. But I saw them. I saw the shinies. Shinies! Darkness left, then light again. Warm! Saw glints in sand and dirt. Can't go there now. Salamanders! They like the meat. I don't want to be meat. Don't eat shinies, but I like to look at them. They make happy.
I am your love of death. Come embrace your cousin. Come repay your debts. Come and face the end.
to none. Shinies! I found something.
lucky find. You have my thanks, milady. Careful now. That's a trap. Careful now, that's a trap. Look out, I see a trap nearby. 